What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Sandbox Survivor and today I'm going to be showing you how to utilize the Cyclops as a efficient survival base. So if you do not want to use a habitat or a big big base um, to store your stuff in then I can show you how to use the Cyclops as one of those instead. So if you do like this video then please do give it a thumbs up. Do comment down below what you liked and what you didn't like and do remember to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Sandbox Survivor for more Subnautica. And go check out the other games I play like Escape from Tarkov, Halo, Call of Duty and many more. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into the Cyclops to show you how I have edited it, shall I say. So straight away in the first room, we have plenty of storage. Now that is going to be your biggest problem, or most people's biggest problem is, well where am I going to put all my storage? This is far, 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 far enough um, storage than you need. You have Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 storage lockers in here. You do not need more than that. And you might be wondering, well, why have you put them over the storage containers that are already here? Um, well, if you just take a look in these, there is hardly any room in here compared to the normal lockers. So you want to utilize it. Um, as much as you can and if you need more space than this then you're going mad on resources and you're no longer efficient so moving into the holding bay we have the seamoth now I chose the seamoth as the mode of transportation in here instead of the prawn suit because I, I feel like if your cyclops is under attack then you have a better chance of surviving if you jump into your seamoth if you can cannot do anything with your cyclops and you know it's going to go down because a leviathan has come along and smashed it up then you do have your seamoth here to get away with moving into the next room we ha I call this like the battery charging station and the power cell chargers uh, all along here uh, you don't need any more than this really if, I mean if you did you can go all the way up the wall if you really wanted to put them on this will go mad but this room would be completely empty otherwise and you do want to utilize this space we've got a nice little picture of the cyclops there just to remind us what we're dealing with and the fact that it's so precious and expensive to make so let's try and save it <laughs> let's move on upstairs so out, out the back we got some little planters uh, I like putting plants around the place it makes it feel more homely um, and let's move into the main living area now in here is all your essential things that you're gonna need I really wish that thing would actually shut up I'm gonna go out there and assault it <laughs> So in here you have all your important things. You've got your fabricator. You've got your modification station. You've still got one of those outside. You've got a nice little table to sit around and consult with yourself and yourself only. You've got access to your Seamoth. And yes, I do have one, two, three, four, five medical kit fabricators because, hear me out, hear me out, on a normal base you would have creep vine growing outside usually which gives you very easy access to uh, fiber mesh and silicone. You don't have that in this mobile base. You have medical kit fabricators. That do just as good a job of making medkits as you could yourself. You've got your radio in here. Uh, you've got a nice little locker for your... Well, I, I put power cells in here and all your modifications. He is very loud. <laughs> of course, you've got some you got some chips, a vending machine. This is like just, yeah, you got your trash can in there. You got your nuclear waste. And this shelf is for anything you pick up on the way that you want. Moving on in here, you got a nice little aquarium room. What the hell was that? We're not in. I refuse to. S no. I'm not. We're not open. Fam. Fam. Is he alright? What is going on out there then? I'll go. Boy. Boy. What is this? All systems online. Was it you? Are you messing up my video? Do you want to fight me? I will fight you. I will. Go, move on. Move on now. I better not be you guys. Huh? Huh? Huh. 
saw that geezer out. Jeez. Okay, so moving on in here. We have a little aquarium with some little fishy in there. Um, I mean, please don't eat them. They're there for show. And this is your main food source, to be honest. You've got your marble melons and your Chinese potatoes. Um, I would probably just fill these with marble melons, but I, I put Chinese potatoes in there to show you. And these will be to store your food in. And of course, you do want a coffee, because coffee makes life so much easier underwater when you have no other access to cafes. So do take your coffee every day. Hurry up now. Please hurry up now. I want my coffee. Thank you. Ah. Nice little coffee. Oh. Oh. I can't drink it. I want to drink it. Please let me drink it. I want it. I want it. Oh, you can't drink it. I forgot. We're in creative mode. Duh. Let's close that up. So, moving on into here. We have somebody else smashing up the walls. Okay. Um. We've got our little bed so we can, we can have a nap. But there's not enough space to lie down. So, I'd move that over just a little bit. Um, you got some more trees. You got a seat. That you can see that? You can access the panel. You know how it is. And of course, you've got your helm, where you can ride off into the sunset and never see anything ever again. Boy, people are attacking me tonight. They do not want me to live in here. Right, right. I'm gonna catch them red-handed. Red-handed. This time. Trust me. Systems online. Really? Really? Are you kidding me? I found the culprit. They're attacking that poor spade fish. Poor thing. They need to chill. So, there you go everybody. That is my guide to building a uh, fully functional base within the Cyclops. And if you did like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you liked and what you didn't like. And do remember to smash that subscribe button. Subscribe to the Sandbox Survivor for more Subnautica videos. And like I said, do check out my other videos. I do some other games on the channel that you might like. So I will see you in the... Oh, now they're attacking my bloody seam off. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.